بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم 20th of Safar is the Arba'een of Imam Hussain al -Islam. In Islam, uh, no Prophet, no Imam has Arba'een and it is only Imam Hussain al -Islam who has Arba'een um, You cannot eat the dust from the grave of any of the Imams but the, the, the dust from the grave of Imam Hussain is known to be Khaak -e Shifa or the, the Turba or the, the dust which has a cure in it Imam Hussain al -Salam has 40th. He, you commemorate uh, the 10 days and then Ashura, then the 13th of Safar, and then all the way up to Arba'een. So you have even Arba'een for Imam Hussain al -Salam. One of the signs of a mu'min mentioned in the traditions of the Ahlul Bayt, especially Imam Hassan al -Salam, uh, is to commemorate Arba'een. You know, when the Imam says, Alamatul uh, Mu'min, there are five signs of mu'min. Al-Jahrab Bismillah ar rahim to say Bismillah ar rahim loudly, to Atakhatum bil to wear a ring in your right hand, to pray 51 rakats every day, to Ta'afir bil Jabin, to have turba, dust for, you know, like a tablet uh, for your sajda, and Ziyaratul Arba'een, to visit Imam Hussain al Islam, or at least commemorate the 40th of Imam Hussain al Islam. Wherever you are, recite his Ziyarat and commemorate. Now, in the whole world, in the past 10 years, um, it has become the greatest event in the world, non-political gathering in the world. And it is one of the signs of the Zahoor of the Prophet Muhammad Islam. A movement has started without anyone behind it. Everyone is now making their way to uh, Arba'een in Karbala and everyone wants to commemorate. And it will be a movement where people will find out about Karbala and Ashura through Arba'een in the uh, books and records, people are now mentioning that the, it is the largest non-political gathering in the world. So it will slowly bring the entire world to its attention and people, the media is now covering it, the social media, but the mainstream media is still not covering it. And slowly when they start to cover uh, this event, they will uh, also gather the attention to the event of Karbala, which is Ashura and Imam Hussain Islam's martyrdom. And this will also um, ignite the fact that Imam Hussain was a grandson of the Holy Prophet So it will introduce the entire world to Islam, Muslims and the Holy Quran. One of the other things that it will do is that Imam Mahdi when he reappears, he will introduce himself as Allah ya ahl al-alam inna jaddi al Hussein qataluhu atshanan Oh people of the world, it was my grandfather Hussein who was killed, thirsty, um, uh, under oppression in the plains of Karbala. So a hadith, uh, the traditions from the Ahlul Bayt al-Muslam have mentioned that the whole world would have heard about Imam Hussain al-Islam. Everyone will be aware of Imam Hussain al-Islam, they will know who he is. And I think this will be through Arba'een, through uh, the event that is uh, happening now. And this will um, attract everyone uh, to Karbala, to Ashura, to Imam Hussain al-Islam. Another tradition mentions there will be only two camps and those two camps will be the camp of Hussein salam and the camp of Yazid. So you'll be either Husseini or Yazidi. Even amongst non-Muslims, there will be people who will strongly believe and accept and know Imam Hussein salam and there will be Yazidis who will not know and believe in Imam Hussein salam So inshallah, we are coming to an era where the whole world will believe in Hussein.